What's up Guardians, Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're taking an early look into the new Lightfall subclass called Strand. We'll be going over everything we currently know about this new darkness themed subclass and what you can expect out of it when it arrives in just a few months. Before we get started, if you enjoy today's video and find it helpful, then please be sure to help support the channel below by hitting that like button along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. So what is Strand? According to Bungie, Strand is a manifestation of the darkness in another elemental form, visually appearing as a more green colored energy. Guardians will have to master its use of aspects and fragments just as they have with previous subclasses to take Strand to the battlefield when Lightfall releases. Strand will feature three new subclasses, the first being the Warlock Architect. Architects effortlessly manipulate the weave using only their mind. From the back line, these telekinetic sorcerers can even twist Strand into sentient creatures to do their bidding. As you can see in the early alpha footage, architects will be suited for long-range combat using seeking projectiles that appear to function a lot like a mix of void and stasis abilities, which results in some epic neon green explosions, a feature that will surely influence the architect's grenades and melee abilities, which we sadly didn't get a chance to see in the alpha footage. The real question here is, will this super be as strong as the Nova Bomb? Let me know your thoughts on the new Warlock Architect in the comments below. Hunters will get the Threadrunner subclass. Threadrunner Runners are masters of movement, speed, and grace. The city is a Threadrunner's playground as they grasp threads and weave new ones to dart through the air, finding the fastest way between two points. In the alpha footage, we got a hefty dose of the new Threadrunner abilities. While all three classes will get the ability to use the new grappling hook, it appears that hunters will be the ones capable of creating their own branches and use them for some amazing aerial acrobatics. The Threadrunner super looks extremely nasty. The super features and I I hope I say this right, a Kiyakutsu Shogi. And for Threadrunners, this looks to be especially lethal as hunters will weave this weapon into existence and then use it as a roaming super. Of the three new subclasses, I'm most impressed with the animations for the new Threadrunners flips and twirls, but let me know your thoughts below. The Titan's new Tyrant subclass gave me immediate callbacks to Wasabi in Big Hero 6, which gave me extreme goosebumps. The Tyrant is going to be a very strong subclass. It's going to be the tank character the Titans have always hoped to be. Untamed and wild, Tyrants tear at Strand to manifest claws they use to sever their targets from the weave, leaping into harm's way with wild abandon. The line no one crosses is drawn by a Tyrant. Such a badass description, Bungie. But for real, the Tyrants look absolutely amazing with these neon claws and this 360 Berserker spin that will act as a roaming super for Titans, which does look remarkably similar to the mechanics of the Archstrider super. An important thing to take away from the Tyrant's abilities is that they all appear to send shockwaves through the ground as they slash into their targets, which could make this an extremely powerful subclass. But will it be stronger than the other Titan subclasses? Let me know your thoughts on the Titan's Tyrant below. According to Bungie, all three classes will get the ability to use the grappling hooks, which we got a good amount of alpha footage portraying these new mechanics and how their animations will play out in game. One thing that seems to be consistent in this footage is is that the grappling hook will be an ability just as grenades, class abilities, and charged melees. And so it would appear this grappling ability is taking up the grenade spot, which means that it could be a variable grenade mode for guardians to consume their strand grenade to create a weave and grapple to it. The new grappling hook ability could also be tied to and have some serious benefits from the new strand fragments and their aspects that will all be modeled after the light 3.0 subclasses. While guardians should be able to use these new grappling hook features anywhere in the game, it's likely that they will come with strict mechanics and guidelines that will surely limit Guardian's ability to glitch out of maps. Even still, this new mechanic is pretty impressive so far. I think if it's implemented as Bungie promises, then Strand is going to be the stuff of legend, and Lightfall will be absolutely amazing. What are your thoughts on the new grappling hook ability, Strand, and the three new subclasses that will be coming with Lightfall? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you as always for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed, then be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're in need of any help throughout this season, maybe with a raid, dungeon, nightfall, or anything else, be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.